Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Ishin FATB FB19 Micro FVV Racing Drone. I've just received it. I was supposed to review it about a week ago, but we had some mail problems. I really want to compare it with the Furby F90. I thought it's the same drone, but apparently not. So I'm going to do a separate comparison video with this Furby quadcopter. So let's see what we're getting inside this package. First of all, we're getting the little bee, which is pretty beautiful. The design, the thing Ishin did a very nice job with designing this quadcopter. Getting the instruction manual that tells you how to button it. This is, by the way, the FR Sky version, FR Sky compatible version to be exact. You're getting also a set of black propellers, Valcros to uh, connect to, to connect it your LiPo battery on the bottom of this quadcopter, a propeller extractor tool, and we're getting two. 2S batteries, sending two LiPo batteries in the package is a very good idea and I'm glad that they ship it with two batteries instead of one that they normally ship it with. You're getting also a set of uh, spare motors which is also useful to have, a USB plug to charge the LiPo batteries and that's it. The weight of the quadcopter without the battery is 40, almost 42 grams, and if we add battery, it comes to 62.7 grams. Let's pop the canopy and see what we've got under the hood. Be careful when we remove the canopy, the, fra the frame is pretty fragile. So the interior of the quadcopter is pretty simple. First of all, we have this F3 EVO brushed flight controller. It has here micro USB port on the back, which means you will have to disassemble the canopy in order to access it. You don't have to, but it will be a little bit difficult for you to insert the USB without uh, popping the canopy off. You have also these motors. These motors are doesn't require any soldering, which means if you want to replace the motor, you will just have to pop the motor that has been burnt and just replace this connection with it. On the board you have a built-in FR Sky compatible receiver which I'm going to show you how to bind later. The boot pads are here so we'll have to show them out in order to flash a new version to this board. The camera is all in one module that features a 25 milliwatt transmitter. It has 40 channels. Switching channels is done by short pressing this button. If you want to change the frequency just have to long press it. So the upper LED is the indicator of the frequency and the bottom one is for the channel. This button allows you to switch between PAL and NTSC. To charge the battery you just have to plug it to a USB port. When the indicator turns blue it means the charging process has been finished. In order to bind the quadcopter you will have to short these two pins here. So you have to short it using a tweezer or your favorite method and then you will have to connect the battery while entering the binding mode on the Taranis. So let's do it. After powering on the Taranis you have to make sure the mode is the 8. Hit the bind, you will hear, hear this sound. Then you will have to short these two pins and and then just plug the battery. If you have anybody else that can help you, probably it's gonna be easier for you. Once this LED indicator is turned off, it means that it has been bind. And then if you plug it in and uh, you see this constant light, instead of just flashing, it means that uh, it's bind to your Taranis. And as you can see, right now when I move it in on my computer, it's working and I have a very nice tip for you instead of just plugging the battery use the USB cable to power up the flight controller when binding it it's going to be easier for you and you can do use it with one hand which means one hand you're gonna use a screwdriver to short these binding pins and just connect the USB while putting the Taranis on your bind sequence. So it's going to be much much easier for you to operate and you can do it just with uh, two hands without anybody's help. Let's go through the default settings of the FATB90.
As you can see, the arm is done by using the auxiliary, uh, aux1. You can also, it's defaulted angle, so I'm going to alter the settings. You will notice that the props pop up pretty easily when you just find this quadcopter. So what I recommend you do, just put a little bit of hot glue, tiny bit, and then just connect it to the quadcopter when it's upside down because you don't want to get any hot glue on this motor. So let it dry and it will be much, much better for you. So the good thing about this drone, it's the design is pretty nice. You have these two LED indicators that's flashed. It's so it looks like it has eyes and it comes with two batteries, two spare motors, which is also a very nice feature. feature. On the downside, uh, it comes without a built-in buzzer and these uh, small quadcopters are pretty easy to get lost in the field. And also the propellers pop pretty easily. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to take it for a test flight. And in another video, I'm going to do a direct comparison with the Furby F90. So the next thing is the test flight and see you on my next videos.